from all that to Good Burger and beyond, Kel Mitchell has been making us laugh for decades. Now he's answering the question, what if all April Fool's pranks actually came true? Frightening. <laughs> With his new book, Prank Day. Take a look. Chase cleared his throat. <clears> throat> um, there's a refrigerator jogging around down there. April Fool's was yesterday, one of the kids said. Yeah, good try, Chase. The teacher crossed to the window, looked down, and let out a yelp. Class dismissed! What? All the kids jumped up and ran to the window. The teacher was already headed out the door. I'm gonna get a video of this. I'll make enough money to never teach again. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! And Kel is with us now. <laughs> Welcome, Kel. Good to see you. Good to see you. Let's, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. <laughs> so what we are watching there is the book trailer. Yes. Right? So this is, uh, it, it's, it, it's about a prankster yeah. at first glance, but there's more to this story. So tell us about the story. Yeah, so look, all the pranks come true, but then also, too, there's a reason why. And uh, the message in this book is that, you know, be yourself. You know, yeah. you don't have to be someone else, because if you're someone else, it might take you a journey on you do, that you don't want to go on. Yeah. So. You can go in a different direction. Different direction, yeah. yeah. So uh, the book is really letting kids know to just be themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And this is <laughs> yeah. your second book, right? This is my second book. So yeah. where did the idea for this one come about? Do you do you have like a little notepad? You write down notes. You say, I'm going to write a book about this. Oh yeah, I have a lot of ideas. You know, working in um, you know family entertainment for so many years. Yeah. You know, I know a kid. What makes kids laugh? Yeah. You know and what I mean? Have kids. And I have kids. Yeah. You know, and I wanted to read them a cool book about you know a fun fictional adventure, and I, and they love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So but, I mean, you got quite the imagination. Uh, yeah. You know, as most kids do, but you're not a kid anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, you know, running refrigerators, flying spiders. What, mm -hmm. what is the, your process like kind of bringing these ideas to life? Does okay. it feel natural to you? Yeah, it does feel natural. Yeah. And I was just like, you know, running refrigerators, going through the neighborhood, you know, that's a great prank. Your refrigerator's running. I so I thought that about that, kid, right? Sure, yeah. And then now you got flying spiders and then clowns and toilets. I felt like that would just be an <laughs> awesome one to come alive. And the clowns are hilarious in this story. Story. Yeah, like that they... seems frightening to me. <laughs> Clubs yeah. and toilets. Yeah, <laughs> but you've been pranking your kids, right? In, oh yeah. In preparation for this book. Are they getting sick of it? Do they like it? Are they now doing it to you in return? <laughs> they love it. We love doing hide and seek because I'm really good at hide yeah, and seek. Yeah, my kids love that too. Yeah, yeah, but like my my youngest daughter is so funny. Is like she'll hide and then she'll tell me where she's at. I'm like, that's not how this works. She's like, I'm on your bed. Come oh, get me. How old is she? Four. <laughs> yeah. Is she four? She's five. Okay, she's five. I, saying, I have a five year old too, and that sounds like something she would exactly. <laughs> yeah. But you said that you've been a prankster since you were a kid. Like, yeah. can you look back? I can think that was a good one. Oh yeah, I, I had one where I hid from my great grandmother, and I was like, she, she was had probably this, mad. Oh yeah, I had this big. She had this big table, and I was under there, under the tablecloth, and I was in there for hours. And she ended up calling like the fire department. Oh my god. She called my dad. He came from work, mad. and I was like, I gotta keep this up, so I gotta come out and say something. I said, surprise! I definitely got in trouble on that one. Like, because yeah. you can say there's a fine line between like, ha ha, yeah. funny prank, and then you just scared the crap out of me, prank. Now, Exactly. That's what that one was. So be careful with your pranks. Yeah, be careful with your pranks, kids. Be careful. Be careful. Don't try that one at home. Oh, no, not that one. Yeah. But, so I, I heard this this morning that Good yeah. Burger turned 25. Yes. I was shocked by that. Does That's it crazy. seem crazy to you that it just went by? I mean, it feels like it went by like that, right? Yeah, I was just talking to Keenan about that. We we're like 25 years, but you know, we were kids. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. you know, we're yeah. you know, it's it's not, we don't feel too old. You know yeah. what I mean? But uh, 25 years is great, and like kids are having like Good Burger parties at I know, five years old. It's crazy. It's crazy, <laughs> but it's like you know. So with streaming now, yeah. all that is possible. So how does it feel to you to have like this whole new generation just being introduced to this now? It, it's so awesome. It's humbling. You know, shout out to all the producers and the writers of the show yeah. for it to still last this long. It's, it's super cool. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know where I've heard it, but there's rumors around that you and Keenan are kind of, you're up for a sequel. Yeah. Yeah, is there yeah. any real talk about that? Or are we just putting it out in the universe right okay, now? Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll say this. Uh, Good Burger is still open. You know, we're out for deliveries, okay. you know, 24 hours, we're open, so. Okay, yeah. good to know. Good to know. I'm going to place an order. Yeah, place your order. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you can get a copy of Prank Day everywhere books are sold. Kel, so nice to talk to you. You too. Yeah, thanks. That's amazing.